Oh, I'm sorry. How many people have you hurt, though? How many people have you scammed already? If I'm hurting you, you can always leave. But you haven't. Because you don't want to leave. You're trying to scam me still. Okay, so today I have something pretty interesting. Um, it's it's a section of my stream. Uh, it's not it's not what I typically do. Uh, part of it, I mean half of it, is the fact that I won a bronze tournament in Rocket League, which I'm very proud of. Uh, first time actually winning a tournament in Rocket League. But um, as excited I, as I was for that, that's not the main event that I'm talking about that happened in my stream today. So I had a wonderful, oh, sorry, wonderful chatter come in called Grace Williams. At least that's what they uh, called themselves. And as you'll find out pretty soon, their name is not Grace Williams. Um, essentially, I encountered a scammer, and while I was winning, in the, I was in the last round of this Rocket League uh, tournament, about to win it. At the same time, I was scam baiting this person, Grace Williams. Um, again, not the real name. We figured that out, which is which is really cool. I got a little bit of information, which I'm kind of happy. I held them out for about an hour. Um, but yeah, let's let's get started into it, and you'll kind of see. I'll show you the patterns. Maybe if you're a streamer, this will help you out understand that like this kind of scam that can happen, and see the patterns and recognize it. Start recording. Because this finals match deserves a recording. Win or loss. Man. Okay. 15, 15. I was extremely lucky that I was already recording because I was in the last round of a finals match in a tournament. So that kind of gave me the opportunity to be able to make this video. Thank you for the follow, Grace William. I won. We are currently in the finals of a Rocket League tournament. I guess, uh, we've made it far. This type of chatter is someone that I've dealt with many times, so it only took a few questions for me to get suspicious and start questioning that. What brings you into stream? A few moments later, with no response, I repeated my question. What brings you into stream, though? I have a lot of people that try to advertise something that kind of come into stream and follow a similar pattern, so I just want to make sure. Before I humor you too much. That's alright. Now, at this point in the stream, I didn't know if I was dealing with a scammer or not. I thought they still could be just a kind of tricky advertiser that uh, that was using some uh, shifty techniques. But later on, I confirmed my suspicions that I was dealing with a scammer and began to get a little more harsh on them. I have a lot of people that come into stream um, that are trying to advertise something. Uh, I don't want to accuse you yet, but if you just let me know what you came in for, what brought you in, I will be open to answering all your questions. Now this is the first time we started to see the scammer break a little bit. They said, yes, I advertise you, which is admitting that they are trying to advertise something to me, like I knew they were. and. Second of all, if you notice the second we got them off the script, how um, much worse their grammar is. It's it, it went way downhill, and you'll kind of notice that for the rest of the video. Um, as they're off script, their English is way, way worse than when they're on, which is a huge red flag. Um, no. <laughs> Essentially, you're welcome to watch my stream. I kind of, uh, yeah, I get a lot of, I get a lot of people that come in doing that. I, it's, it's a very similar pattern, so I've kind of got it down, but, uh, I'm, I'm not interested. Sorry if you feel a bit called out, but it's, it's, 
It's very common for me. Why? Why no? I'm just not interested in having any art done for my channel. I'm very happy with how it is. I stream casually, so... I think that there's nothing that really needs to happen to the layout. I used to have it all dressed up, but... I actually changed it so it's only this pretty much face cam and it's very simple. It keeps the focus on the stream. Do you have a profile or something that I can look at to see what kind of art you've done? Because I'd like to say, because this is such a common thing, it's hard to believe that everybody that comes in here is real and I'm kind of curious. I've never probed too far into into what people are up to. But I'm... But I'm curious. Do you have a... Like a username you could just give me in chat for a... For a I don't know. Instagram profile. I don't... I don't use too much social media outside of Twitch, but uh... I'd like to... See, that's... It's very common that... That's like the same path that many people, like many of you guys are saying. It's, it seems like a script almost. That's why I'm suspicious. I'd like to know some proof that... You're, uh... You're legit, essentially. It seems very strange that so many people come in and ask the exact same questions, you know? Without a... It's like you're using a script, almost. Now, as soon as I called them out for using a script, this is the first point where I kind of gained the confidence and knew what they were to start to pick apart at them and see if I how much information I can get about what they're doing. Because I'm genuinely curious in the moment, having so many people come through and ask the same things, and streamers that I know have the same issue. Specifically with graphic designers, not that they're all malicious, but it just such it seems like such a specific scam or common scam. I wanted to know what was up with it, so this is kind of the point where I decided to start probing and see how much I could get to know. Some people are scammers. How are you not a scammer? How do I trust that you're not a scammer? Because I really ha I have a hard time believing that you're not a scammer when you're following the exact same script that tens of other people have come in my stream and done. Like, word for word almost. And not to, not to call you out even more, maybe to call you out even more. But the moment I kind of took you off script, it seemed like your English wasn't as wasn't as good anymore, was it? It's not. Mm, so I'm very suspicious. I, I think you can see why. All right, I'm gonna just take for granted you're a scammer. Because I've had so many people with such a similar script come through my stream. And I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of learn a little more here. Because I've encountered this so much, it'll, it'll help me in the future. If you don't mind. Is this, like... Where where do you, get your, do you, you find this script from? Or where do you find this exact technique from? Because I'm... Because everyone has the, a very, very similar technique. It's almost like they're on the same script. Is there like... Do you have like an employer or something? Hope I'm not scaring you off.
Yeah. I have a very... I, I'm having trouble believing that. Listen, the first couple times this happened to me, I can... I appreciate that, Willow. The first couple times this happened, I kind of... You know, I could... I gave the benefit of the doubt. Some people make a script from the shortcut. Oh, so you, so you don't scam with a script. You like to scam without a script. That's... Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. How is it so similar to everyone else, though? That's kind of what's... You have a script that you don't use it. Oh, have you memorized your script? Come on, get in. There's your own words. Okay, so you kind of vary your, your script a little bit. Why do you do it? Why are you scamming people? Why are you trying to take, take advantage of streamers that don't know a lot? Because I could very easily see a streamer fall for it. I mean, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be doing this if you didn't know there were people people that could fall for it. So, what got you into this? Also, by the way, Willow, hold on. Listen, I'm... I, I just, I'm really having trouble believing that. I've said this multiple times. But, to prove that to me... You'd have to explain to me why you seem to follow a very similar script to everyone else that I've kind of encountered. Um, you're saying, I mean, you kind of just before it jumped straight to, what, what did you say? Um, like, I'll send you my received payment. Like, you kind of jumped straight to the, to the payment there. It, you're first couple times this happened, I, I could totally, I, I could see you. I could see your side. Hey, it's a graphic designer trying to, trying to, you know, get on a stream. It, it's, it, that would be a good way to advertise. But it's suspicious. You get that? You understand how it can kind of be suspicious how so many people come through. How do you explain that? Yeah, how are you explaining... I have a lot of reasons to think that you are. One, you're following a script. I know that because I have tens of people that come through here that say the exact same thing. Two, um, I, I, I'm afraid I think that your work is not yours, and if it is, which is highly unlikely, I, th I mean, it's still something fishy is happening. And also, your English managed to get a lot worse the second that I started calling you out and getting you off script, Just, you know? you can explain all that to me, I'll answer all your questions, but I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to understand that script. You said you had a script. Where'd you get that from? And what's that script for? One, dang it. So, where did you get that script? Let's start there. Let's start there. I know I am clearly bronze. 
Where did your where did your script come from? From Chat GPT. What did you ask it? What did you ask it to try to? What was your like prompt? Now I was caught off guard by the scammer saying that the script was from ChatGPT. I'm not sure if I completely believe that or if that was some sort of uh, cover up. Um, either way though, I asked where what their prompt was for ChatGPT, knowing that there is, I mean, it's not perfect, but there are some safeguards in place to stop. You can't just, you can't just type in, you know, how to scam Twitch streamer in ChatGPT. So I was wondering what their prompt was, um, but you'll see it was actually, I mean, again, this could just be another cover up, but they did say that it was a friend that they got it from. This, I mean, it could go either way. I could believe this or it could just be a cover up, but, Coming from the chat GPT, I mean, that would be, that's an interesting technique I have not heard of before. I'm not too invested in scams, but uh, I have not heard of that scamming technique before <laughs> getting this script from chat GPT. So uh, I learned something new. Your friend gave you. Do you know like a network of people who scam this way? Is it like the whole underground graphic designer Twitch scam? Can I get can I get do you have like a main discord I could join? I wanna I wanna join the, the graphic design scamming. No. Who's the friend then? I told you three times why I don't believe that. You would know, you would, if you were, if you were not a scammer, you would have given up the second that I said you, I thought you were a scammer. I already said I don't want any of your work, so if you were a scammer, you wouldn't keep trying. So let's keep asking these questions. Where is, where is the main HQ? Uh... Where, where do you where do you come from? Genuinely, not where you not where your script says you come from. Where you actually come from? No. Is it your work or is it somebody else's work? Do you have a website? Board is right. Where's your website? As a graphic designer, I mean, you that's a great like chance to build a website because you already have that artistic ability to make one. So you should have one. Should you? You do have a website. Interesting. All right, well, let's see. I'm going to think of a way that you can safely send this website to me. Um, yeah, you know, good idea. Hey, I would ask for your website. I just don't want to risk the safety of anybody else in chat who would click on it. And I, as not a cybersecurity expert myself, I'm not gonna, I don't want to click on your website. Uh, on Discord or whatever. I mean, I'm not going there. I'm 
still curious. Um, I said I said where I was from. I said I'm from the East Coast of the U.S. I'd like to know where you're from. Where are you from? My chat censored that out. Or... I mean... Maybe. Oh, you're from Pakistan. I actually believe that. Let's not go there, Willow. We can't make real threats like that. We're having a bit of fun right now. We're, we, we're not allowed to make real threats. Also, Grace, I'd like you to know that I just won a Rocket League tournament at the same time as destroying... Or not destroying you, but... Figuring out your scamming, uh, scamming business. That's got a... Hey! I know, a two-in-one, right? I do deserve a congratulate. I know. Thank you. Ooh, Esper Champion. Good job. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh... Hey, by the way, Grace, I recorded that whole thing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep recording. First, let's go. All right. Um, Let's see, I, I want to get a little bit more to know you. What else is there to know? Is your is your real name Grace William? Because I don't... That does not sound like a name from Pakistan. Sounds like a very generic American name. So what's your real name? Hassan. Why would you be using a fake name? I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get your personal, I mean, I am. I'm not trying to dox you. Why would you use a fake name? What's up with that? What makes you feel like you need to use a fake name? Yeah, that's also not the female name, which is, like, even with, you know, Grace Williams is a pretty feminine name. Of course, I, of course, I can't really make that distinction, but people are track. Okay. So you chose the name Grace William. Because you're, you are a man named Hassan from Pakistan, and you think that um, streamers, specifically male streamers, will be attracted to a more female name and fall for your scam easier. That's a tricky... That's a... Yeah, that... That's some sneaky tactics right there. I, I, yeah, it probably does work, doesn't it? You know... Why do you do it, though? Don't try to convince me you're not a scammer. We know you are. Alright? Why... Why are you doing it? What motivates you, genuinely? 
I want to know. Person to person. If you open up to me, I won't... I won't be as... You know, I, I won't keep trying to probe you. I mean... I, if you open up to me, then this dynamic can change. But for now... I'm not believing almost anything you say. Until I, until you start to tell me the truth here. A trick and a scam. Would you not say a trick is a scam? You're trying to attract streamers. Which is not... You're lying. For your financial benefit. That's a scam. I know that it's not... That's not the only trick you're employing. I mean... You're still not a graphic designer. But, uh... What's up? Why are you doing it? Also, another question. Have you been in my chat under another username before? I realize this is definitely a script. Um, and there's been a lot of people through my chat uh, using the same script. But, I wonder, have you, have you seen me before? You know me. Probably not. You would already know, right? Yeah, you would know that I would deny you. If... My forfeit. Hey... We're gonna play again. We're gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing Rocket League and we're gonna have this nice conversation. Conversation, Kassan. Kassan, or Kassan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me double check. Since I do believe that's your real name, I want to respect that and call you... Call you by your real name properly. Let me double check where it is. Hassan. Hassan. When satisfactory? If I was camera, so I would tell you about me. Tell me? Wait, you're gonna have to say that again. Can you rephrase that? I didn't quite understand. Your English is a bit broken. You probably know that. I don't mean to say that it's a bad thing. But it's another dishonest trick from using that script. You were definitely on the script. Don't lie about that. Or at least, at minimal. I'm assuming if I were a scammer, I'd buy it. Why would I tell you about myself? Because you've given up. <laughs> Hassan, you've given up. I know that. Listen, Hassan. If you were not a scammer, why would you be using a different name, faking your gender, faking- I'm gonna say faking where you live because of the username. Alright, um... Oh, I'm sorry. How many people have you hurt, though? How many people have you scammed already? If I'm hurting you, you can always leave, but you haven't. Because you don't want to leave, you're trying to scam me still.
Do you not think that you've made a lot of people angry scamming though? You know? I I mean, all right. Follow me, Willow. We're gonna try to find my crate. Actually, wait. Let's get some concrete to help us get up there. Unfortunately, at this point, that was Hassan's last message in my stream. I felt like I had a pretty good run. Um, it was actually 40 minutes. I said, I guessed an hour at the beginning of the video, but no, it was around 40 minutes. And yeah, that's uh, the reign of Hassan. That, that's Hassan's legacy, whatever we want to say. But hopefully that experience kind of, if there's any Twitch streamers watching this, gave you a little bit of an insight in what that sort of scam can look like. And it was entertaining kind of seeing Hassan be picked apart and, and his scam being debunked there. But to wrap up the video, I'm just going to give you a little compilation of pretty much everything that Hassan said from joining to leaving the stream. And hope you all have a great day, unlike Hassan, and enjoy the video.